Here's a big question for you, Andrea. Ever since we become conscious of the world around us, people are trying to influence us, sell us things. There are messages everywhere we look. But we keep going back to our ancient roots and finding ways to, to clear this message and, and live an authentic life. Have you got any tips on how to do so? Well, you've said an interesting word there, roots, and I'm just, just kind of developing what's going to come off of that. Um, we have, we, our roots are really strong. Um, they are innate within us to be able to negotiate our human world. We, were, we, we, we come with everything we need, like our tool belt to um, do and, and create and um, give ourselves a productive, joyful and purposeful life. That we already all have. And if you think of animals, they don't have all kinds of, of, of um, influences on how they live their life. They get on with nesting, they get on with reproducing, they get on with knowing what foods and things to eat. We know all that. We've just lost the ability in all of our clutter and, and commercialism to be able to reconnect with our authentic, authenticity, our roots, our ability to know um, what is good for us. We've been sort of dazed by all this flash. Um, so what, what is happening, what I see the world going through is a big chaotic mess of which we, we kind of see that. We see the banks collapse and we see the church collapse and we see education going down the pan. We see governments. So that all aside, there is a, a lot of collapse. Um, because we've just overblown ourselves with things we don't really, really need and is necessary to us. We're, we're putting on coats and clothes and things that are bogging down and cluttering our natural ability to be um, and to produce good things for ourselves and a good life for ourselves. So, what we are seeking and everybody is seeking who who are we um, I want to know more of my own truth I want to be able to grow plants and do things where we're, we're going back to getting in touch we want to get in touch with our truth and our connection to the land and our connection to animals our connection to everything um, so we're, we're really seeking something new, what seems to be new, but it isn't. Um, and putting aside and saying no to the certain conditions that we've been trained to believe we're supposed to do for ourselves to make ourselves better. We have to have a certain education. We have to um, run our lives as the way it has been you you grow up you go to school you get a partner you get married you have children all of these things that we were trained to do and, and we're kind of thinking well does that actually make us happy and a lot of the times it doesn't and a lot of the times people get to say your midlife crisis well it's a crisis because we've gone ahead and done all these things that we were told to do but it didn't make sense for us we just did as we were conditioned to do and that is a big eye opener when you realize that you know what that doesn't equate to happiness being in the in the the sheepfold of, of going a certain direction so yes we are seeking older ways to do things and and as our society is sort of crumbling within itself we've lost ourselves it's a good thing in a way because we then are thinking now you know what we want to change things fundamental changes we want to be in contact with people we want to see green space we want to um, be able to fish and we're trying to in a desperate attempt 
to get back a life that is more connected. And in a tangent, we are kind of overcompensating by yes, being connected, but the technological advances are trying to connect us, but not connecting us in an authentic way. They're doing things for us that we should be able to do for ourselves uh, that would nurture our souls better. Um, so we've got to kind of be careful on that, which way, we, which way we're going. Are we going to run away with the technology? Or are we going to really try and um, live softly on this earth and softly with each other and um, uh, bring out in ourselves, which we innately know we have, um, our own abilities and, uh, and our own uh, understanding of what it means to be human and um, peaceful and I'm good, <laughs> getting choked up and um, it brings a lot of emotion to me, this, this particular topic. Um, so yes, the old ways in old ways that are ancient ways, that's what we're seeking because we are ancient beings. Uh, we've been here forever and we know what is good, what is not good, what is a great way to go, what is a tricky way to go. And we're just trying to find our position again. <laughs>